Hello, I'm Mark Cork, and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to talk about the digital multimeter. Very, very handy tool. If you have an electrical problem on your boat, before you call in the experts and pay a gazillion dollars an hour, it's a good idea to get hold of one of these, keep it in your toolbox, and with it you can find out a lot of things. Um, it's called a multimeter because it measures essentially three different scales. We've got resistance, which are measured in ohms. We've got uh, the amount of current, which is measured in amps. And then obviously voltage. Each multimeter is slightly different. This one, um, you turn this to 20 volts, you see it's 20 volts there. That's the maximum amount of voltage. Because we're using a 12 volt battery, uh, that'll be plenty. So as you can see, it's registering zero there. So you put one on one terminal, one on the other, and you'll see it says 13.18 volts. So we've got a nice fully charged battery there. This is obviously a small battery. I've just brought it into the workshop for illustration, but on the boat, obviously your batteries are much larger, but the principles are exactly the same. And it's worth mentioning that a 12 volt battery, if it's showing 12 volts, is essentially flat. A 12 volt battery, if you put the probes across the, uh, a boat battery and it's a 12 volt battery, should be registering somewhere between 12.75, 12.8 volts if it's fully charged up. Once it goes down to 12 volts, it's probably unlikely to have enough oomph. So the next thing that we can measure with this is the resistance. So resistance is um, if we've got uh, a, a cable which is not conducting electricity properly. So supposing we've got a light that is not working on the boat, if we touch both sides of the, the cable that goes to the light, we can tell if there's a circuit there. I've prepared a piece of cable. I know that there's a faulty connection in here because I made it faulty deliberately. And you'll watch this. So you want to check this. So this could be a light bulb in here, could be a fuse, could be anything like that. We'll touch the probes on both ends and you'll see that they won't move. So it still says overload. So it means that on this piece of cable here, there's something amiss, and I know it's the connection in the middle. Could be a light bulb, you could just take a light bulb, do anything like that. The last and final uh, test that we're gonna do is for amperage. So I've got an LED masthead lamp here. I wanna know how much current this is gonna use or how much drain it's gonna put on my battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna temporarily connect the black to the black on the battery there. And if I touch this, you'll see it come on. So we know it's working. And then what we do is we go over to this side here, switch this up to amps, plug that in there. And then if I connect the red probe to the battery and then the black to the other side there, the light lamps, which means the power's going through the meter. We can't use more than 10 amps with this meter. And you'll see that it says 0.81. Uh, it's about 0.81, which means it's less than one amp. So we're using 800 milliamps of power to power this LED light. Anyway, I hope you've learned something today. I would strongly urge you to buy, go out and buy yourself a multimeter and learn how to use it. There is an instruction booklet that comes with it. Read all about it. Learn what, to, what you can do with it and you will save yourself some money. Thanks for watching, see you next time.